Okay, so this uh, racquetball problem uh, has actually got a couple of issues to it. Uh, one one mistake that you pointed out was that I didn't I didn't on the denominator I didn't do one minus the common ratio, so that that is a mistake. And then I'm looking, we're trying to figure out the total distance this ball traveled. Well, after the first drop of 27 feet or meters, whatever it is. It doesn't return that. So what they were looking to do, but then it bounces up 18 feet because it's a returns eight two thirds of it. And then it travels back down the 18 feet. So for each of these next terms, we've got to double them, but we don't double the 27 to start with. So what I'm deciding to do to solve this problem to find how far did the ball actually travel, I'm going to start my first term as being 18, and what that's going to let me do is that's going to let me let me uh, find sum of the first 10 the first 10 bounces and then and then because uh, the first bounce would be it comes back up 18 right so that's why I thought, I'm pretty sure this is the way to do it this is why I'm gonna think it is today right now so I'm gonna start with 18 being my first term I'm gonna find this sum then I'm gonna double it because it's going up and then down so let's see, where's my calculator here? So one, one minus uh, two thirds. Raised to the 10th power is 0.98 something. I'm gonna divide that by one minus two thirds, or, or actually I'm gonna multiply by three, aren't I? Is that, isn't that, isn't that the same as one minus two thirds is uh, one third, and then I'm dividing by that, so that means I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna take my answer, my, my one minus, one minus two thirds to the 10th, and I'm gonna times that by three, multiply that by three. And then I'm gonna multiply that by the 18. So, so that I'm getting S sub 10, so the sum of the first 10 bounces is about 53, a little better than 53, Feet, meters, what are these? I, I can't see past this. Uh, feet, it says underneath that. So feet, so I'm gonna double that because what I've just done is I've found some 18 and then not, then what two thirds of 18 is uh, 12 and then and then two thirds of that is uh, what, nine or eight and then, and then whatever, uh, all those sums of so the first 10 and then I'm gonna add into my double that 53 and get two and then, which is 106, and I'm going to add in 27 because that's that initial bounce. So I think today, and I didn't finish watching the video to see what I, I got that day, um, but today I'm thinking it traveled 133. Let's see. This worked out. Maybe I better write some stuff down. So this sum, S sub 10, worked out to be 53 plus a little bit, 0.06. And then some other decimal places. And then that's only the one distance. We want to double it because there's, there's two of them. And that's where I got the 106. And then I'm going to add in the initial 27 that it fell. And that's where I'm getting about 133 feet it traveled all told. So hopefully that helps and when you do the one on, on my open math or if you do the textbook one that'll that'll help you get that right.